Does anyone suspect, you think, that the, <laughs> that the Lombardi's riding on the back of this golf cart? I have no idea. The post-it note on there doesn't give it away? Well, no one knows what the LP means. Yeah, nobody right, knows yeah. I didn't know until three days then. Now the Super Bowl will come down to fourth down. When you're hoisting that Lombardi trophy, that means you're the champions of the world. From the 10, probably the final play of the game. So it all comes down to this. Gives me goosebumps. One good drive. One good drive. This is it. Let's get a touchdown up there. For the world championship right here. Goes to the back of the end zone and it is gone. Today's game is being played for the Vince Lombardi Trophy. Congratulations, the beautiful Tiffany Trophy. This is the Vince Lombardi Trophy for the winner of the Super Bowl. We love to see the champions celebrating, and we love to see the trophy be a focal point of that. Vince Lombardi Trophy to the party boat right there. That is what I call trust. The trophies that come back from the celebrations are always kind of interesting because they're, you know, they've been used a lot. On Super Bowl Sunday, as the players who have won the game are so excited to, to get their hands on that, you'll see all the blemishes that quickly appear on it. It does fingerprint very easily. You about to kiss the trophy? I ain't gonna kiss it. Too many lips been on there. They gotta sanitize it or something first before I kiss it. It's too many hands been on it. I gotta get it all shiny. We certainly buff it in things, but we don't put anything over the counter on the trophy. The cleaning process to buff it out is only happening at Tiffany and Company. All these marks, you know, have memories and uh, a lot of players that have worked really hard to get their hands on this. It's not how you envision it. When you see them displayed, shiny, clean, really, really impressive. By the time it gets to you on an airplane of a Super Bowl champion, it's sticky, it's got a bunch of fingerprints on it, and it's really kind of dirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leading up to, we're very, very particular about who touches it until it's given over to the winning team. And once it's given to the team, it's theirs to love and embrace. When Rob Gronkowski bunted a baseball that was thrown at him, I think our hearts dropped a little bit because, of, of course, the craftspeople that, that make that trophy sort of feel attached to it. But as one of Rob Gronkowski's uh, teammates said, that that's not damage, that's, that's part of the history and the heritage of that trophy now. So we left it as it is. Oh, there it is. I think what they should stop doing is washing them. I think that the fingerprint, the slobber, the Gatorade, whatever may be on it, should always be a part of the trophy. You see these champions who have dedicated their lives and put everything they have into winning these, these trophies. We have a group of craftspeople here that have done the same. They spent their careers honing their craft and producing these amazing pieces of, of artwork. So it's, it's really nice to see those two things come together. What's at stake for these two teams? This trophy right here. The beautiful Tiffany Trophy. In 1966, Pete Rozelle, who was the NFL commissioner at the time, met with Tiffany Vice President Oscar Reidner, and they talked about creating the trophy. They designed it on a napkin. The trophy, which dwarfs the commissioner, is topped by a silver football. Each team will use its league's distinctive ball on offense tomorrow, but whether the one on the trophy is NFL or AFL, no one knows. Even though they went back and worked with the craftspeople and worked with the NFL, at the end of the day, that ended up being the design. So even today, however many years later, we, we still make the trophy with that exact same design. That's pretty fantastic. It's a beautiful trophy. The first step is the spinning step. A flat sheet of silver will be mounted on a lathe and hand-pressed with a tool that's usually custom-made by the silversmith himself. The next step would be the chasing, where you're using hammers and some tools to put the laces of the football into the top of it. And the silversmith does the cutting, the soldering, and the fitting of all the pieces together. Next, we have hand engravers engrave the tower in front of the trophy. And an etcher will cut out and sandblast the NFL logo that goes on the front of the trophy. And finally, when it's all ready, the polisher comes and polishes it to a gleaming mirror finish. There's a gleam, man. There's 
of Gleam. Let's get the Gleam, all right, let's go. I think what makes the, the Lombardi Trophy design so special and iconic is a true authentic size football. And then it's you know hoisted at a very specific angle up on this plinth, this base, and that's it. And it's so simple that that's all that it takes. This one's for John. All that we have invested, the journey starts tonight. 66,000 looking on, temperature about 80, and off we go in 2021. Intercepted, and Reed. And the 2012 season is underway. Curse makes it again. He throws to Gronkowski. He has a touchdown for the Patriots. What an opening night in Lambeau Field in Green Bay. Unbelievable. Each year, you have different motivating features. And, uh, at this particular time, uh, uh, we're going to try to repeat. Every year, we actually deliver it to the Hall of Fame in Canton prior to Hall of Fame weekend. And it'll stay there through the majority of the season so that fans can come take a look at it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, and football fans everywhere, this is the actual Lombardi Trophy. Yeah! How about that, guys? Our fans literally wait for hours and hours, so it's nice to see them share the love that we have for the trophy. You see this, Jason? Right here on the back of it, in kind of small print, it shows who's going to win. Oh, really? OK. Prior to the creation of the Vince Lombardi Trophy, there are actually two trophies. The first was the Brunswick Balky Hollander Cup. The handles on there were actually made of antlers, but nobody knows where that ended up. Our next trophy didn't come into existence until 1934. Next season, the Colts will be defending their world championship. It was a traveling trophy, so every champion that won would have their name on that trophy along with the year that they won the NFL championship, and it now resides at the Packers Hall of Fame at Lambeau Field. The Lombardi Trophy origin, we really have to go back to the merger of two leagues. The National Football League that was founded in Canton, Ohio on September 17, 1920. And then you have, in 1960, this upstart league called the American Football League come into existence. So in 1966, those two leagues agreed upon a merger that would ultimately take place in 1970. Between 1966 and 1970, they would play a championship game between the NFL champion and the AFL champion. This is the first Super Bowl trophy and uh, it's something Green Bay can keep. We're gonna have a, a new trophy each year. The NFL AFL championship game trophy was renamed the Vince Lombardi Trophy in 1970 after the legendary coach had passed away due to cancer. Lamar Hunt, co-founder of the American Football League and founder of the Kansas City Chiefs, petitioned the National Football League and implored Pete Rozelle to rename the trophy after the legendary Green Bay Packers coach who won the first two Super Bowl championships. I hope this is a habit. <laughs> there was only one Vince Lombardi, there will never be another. And this makes this trophy just doubly precious to all of us. In January or so, we drive it to Rhode Island to get cleaned. FedEx is our official delivery partner. After championship weekend, they do a pickup here with their white glove service, and it's delivered to the host city, and it's stored with the NFL security department at our headquarter hotel until we start using it at our events leading up to Super Bowl. We entrust FedEx to transport it in a safe and secure manner and deliver it at the prescribed uh, location at, at which time we take possession of it. That coordination is done through an exhaustive planning process. It starts with us identifying security consultants and security representatives who have demonstrated a level of proficiency and professionalism. All right, gentlemen. Enjoy your day. A little warm today. A little warmer than I thought it was going to be. It's also important that the intangibles like personality are factored in because they are our representatives. We want to make sure that they are good ambassadors for our department. My name's Art Doherty. I'm a security representative for the National Football League. There's a lot of moving parts within the security department and I stay within the lane of making sure that the Super Bowl trophies and the rings are safely secured until they're ready for transport to different NFL venues. Mr. Gilmore is scanning the uh, items coming in at this point. As you can see, it's 
pretty quick process. It's like a chain of custody, and from here it'll go to the room we're securing it in. All set for the hardware. This key is going to open up the container that supplies the Vince Lombardi Trophy, and I'm gonna guard this with my life. <laughs> so the security plan around the Vince Lombardi Trophy is multi-layered, multi-faceted. Our job is to make sure that the trophy is safeguarded when it's on display and when it's not on display. But we also rely on technology to make sure that we can account for the trophies we're about to at any given time. It fits. There we go. Okay, this is our charm baby and, and this is our tracker. We all get updates to know where, exactly where it is at any time. So if the box rattles just like a little bit, we get, a, we get an email. So I woke up this morning with like 45 emails. It's a very comprehensive appearance schedule, as you might imagine. So it becomes rather complex. We actually use the actual Super Bowl trophy at the Super Bowl experience. So that's the big fan fest that we host. This year it'll be at the Los Angeles Convention Center. The NFL security puts it in every day, takes it out every night, secures it. I'm going to make sure I stay with that at all times. And believe me, I look at that as like my children. Let me see, my first one is about 10 pounds. So <laughs> yeah, that's about well, my first baby. When the Vince Lombardi trophy is on display in a public setting, the trophy is kept within a display case, so the, the ability to physically contact the trophy is limited. We're very sensitive to the behavior of people when they're around the trophy. We're alert to potential distractions, diversions, people trying to gain access to the trophy, opportunistic crimes, so someone defacing the trophy. It is the iconic representation of the NFL, and for that reason, it, it arguably could be an attractive target for theft. We understand that people will wait hours for an opportunity to take a picture with the trophy and we want to give them those opportunities. But we also have to strike that balance with the physical security of the trophy. So it becomes uh, an interesting, uh, delicate dance. Let's face it, when fans see something like that, I mean, they usually see it on TV, but when they, they're looking at it live, it's pretty cool. We've got a number of trophies. The MVP trophy. AFC and NFC Championship Trophy, the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award, we've got the Art Rooney Trophy, and the 55 Super Bowl rings from Canton, Ohio as well. It's, it's pretty cool. The movement of the trophy on game day, on Super Bowl Sunday, those are all very choreographed moves. They are rehearsed. The individuals that are physically responsible for carrying the trophy have practiced that movement to make sure that they know the number of steps that they'll take and to avoid any hazards, and we don't want any missteps on the world stage. So let's get everybody on the stage ready for the start of the ceremony. We get one chance to run rehearsal. Uh, it's just like game day, except we don't have 100 players on the field. We don't have several hundred people on the sidelines. We don't have 70 something thousand people in the stands. Other than that, it's just like game day. Once again, thank you, City of Los Angeles. But at this time, we would like to award the Super Bowl trophy. When you hear the final game score, you know the game is officially over because the PA announcer will not say the final score if it's not officially over. We have 10 minutes from the end of the game to the start of the ceremony. So we have security lined up in the tunnels waiting to come out. We then start to send out barricade carts that begin to secure the area. Then we bring out the stage in three pieces. So there's a lot of moving parts. I'm going to tell you stage ready and audience. Okay. We have a significant number of security staff that are assigned on the field post game, and they're responsible for every element of that post game activity from physical placement of the stage to the escort of the family members of the winning team. You have literally hundreds of people from production staff to players, friends, and family to team personnel coming on the field. It's really labor intensive. Jordan Carpenter, NFL Security, and uh, we're doing some rehearsal for the post-game trophy presentation. Well, my role on game day, I'll be on the field doing field security, but then um, come post-game, I'm going to take it out to the stage. And the Super Bowl trophy is here on the stage. All right, and 
here we go. You know, you think about all that goes into the halftime show and the spectacle of the halftime show, the pregame and the national anthem and the flyover, but what 32 teams have been competing for is that piece of silver sitting up on that stage. This really is the crowning moment of the entire season for the winning team and the NFL. The sun's up. Here we are on Super Sunday. It is Super Bowl Sunday. Back to the Super Bowl. The Vince Lombardi trophy. This is why they play all them games and lift all them weights. And a Hollywood setting to write the final line of the script for this football season. SoFi Stadium. It's activity really picking up. We have our first shoot with Mike Tirico on field. So it's going to go right on that little... Oh, on the photo? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So we'll have the real Vince Lombardi trophy that's going to the winning team tonight. He gets a couple minutes shot on the field. In the city where they award Oscars and Emmys, there's one shiny trophy on everyone's mind today. And then NFL Security will drive it in to Game Day Fan Plaza, which is one of our activation spaces outside the stadium, so fans can take a photo with it. Once we're finished with that, we come back in. Okay, we're getting we're getting off the couch. Little more than an hour and a half before kickoff, you can feel all the anticipation building down here on the field. Super Bowl 56 getting ever closer. All clear! That clear! Oh, it's gonna be facing this way. The camera's facing you gotta go right there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's worth $25,000 of Tiffany's sterling silver, but it is priceless to the men who win it. There are only 55 in possession on the planet. This is the 56th. We will hand it out in the next three and a half hours. When that happens, and we bring it inside the stadium where it goes into the NFL security office, and we keep it there until um, about five minutes before the end of the game. And then we bring it out to the sideline and wait for the winner. It don't get no better than this. Let's do it. Love you. Let's go, man. You deserve this. Yep. Let's earn it today. Yep. Let's go. And finally, we are off the Super Bowl 56. And under pressure, hit by Hendrickson. It's tip. It's a fourth down stop for the Rams. Yes! He high points the football. Touchdown, OBJ. Burrow deep for Chase. Comes down with the ball. Touchdown, Cooper Cup. Mixon throws into the back of the end zone and is caught. It is good. Yes. And the Bengals have scored 17 straight. Back shoulder, Cooper Cup got it. In the fourth quarter is when we start its parade from the security office out to the field. There's in-stadium hits that happen so that people can start seeing it come to life and see it get on display. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. It defines the careers of the men who are able to win it. We plan for two plus years for this day. We've got every minute charted out. I have the good fortune of sitting up in NFL control. As we get to that two minute warning, you've got operations people, security people, media people, all ready to go. We hit zero, and then what needs to be built in about seven minutes is a full stage, a full media setup to put on that championship moment. Let's go, hey, Aaron, this is the moment, right now. You're gonna give Aaron Donald a chance to end this game, to submit his legacy. Can he do it? It'll be fourth down and one. Aaron Donald's gonna make a play. Throw to throw for it. He's hit. He flings it away on fourth down. Aaron Donald got there. Three, two, one. It's final. A Lombardi trophy for Los Angeles. 23-20 is the final on their home field here at SoFi Stadium in Super Bowl 56. The Los Angeles Rams our world champions! World champions! There's a team up in NFL control who are looking at the operations, the build out, the security, need to do all of this safely. And then there's the broadcast side. 
Are you ready to go? When we come back from break, we're, we're throwing right to the public address announcer who's going right to Commissioner Goodell to pick up the trophy and present it to the owner. Are we ready to go? That dance, that tension plays out over headset, over communications between NFL control and the field. The Lombardi Trophy presentation. Amidst the confetti, the Los Angeles Rams are the world champions. Confetti plays a big role. Vince Lombardi shaped, trophy shaped confetti, making sure it's the right colors, the winning team colors, you 86, the non-winning team colors. Getting the principles, the, the people we need, the MVP, the coach and the owners in that seven or eight minutes to the stage. Many a Super Bowl post game has happened where it's, where the heck is Brady? Where, where's Tom Brady? get it uh, as perfect as you can, and then you press go, and then that moment, again, is captured for generations to come. Congratulations, the Vince Lombardi Trophy is staying in Ram's house. Once we give it to the winning owner, it's theirs. So they get the trunk that it comes in, the, the beautiful blue Tiffany bag that it comes in, the key to the trunk, that's theirs now. The most important thing for us is we make sure that we deliver that trophy as pristine as possible, and then we start all over again the next season. Let's go live to the bus. Aaron Donald, ladies and gentlemen, has lost the shirt. Yeah, Let's go. there we go. It's a dream come true. I, I dreamed about this for so long. So to be here right now, it's surreal, man. I'm, I'm, I'm so in the moment right now. Man, look at this trophy right here. Look at it. This is for you guys. This is for the city of LA. We did it at home. We were champions. We're champions. The last. We the best in the world, that's what it's about.